Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. I am back with Daniel from the Box Cutter Podcast. We are continuing the Phantom Investigators project that we've been doing between our two channels. Today we are covering the second episode called Skating the Plank. I think it might be about pirates. There's a pirate in the opening that we have not seen yet. A pretty cool pirate claymation or puppet thing. So I, I have a feeling that that's going to come from this. It could be a haunted lumberjack thing like a ghost lumberjack do we think it's gonna be skating like ice skating or skateboarding well it could be ice skating because we've never seen snow but it doesn't really snow in san francisco yeah it doesn't and jericho isn't jericho a skateboarder did we say this you see it in the opening all the time that's true that's true we haven't seen him really skate in an episode though so maybe this is the episode never get tired of that theremin we're going to be hearing it in our dreams. Nah, I hear the stuttering phantom. <laughs> phantom. 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 Yeah, I think that thing is going to be the thing that we see. I wonder if the high five is going to be in this episode. I feel like the high five is their version of like the friends on the fountain. Like it's just for the intro. Yeah, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, skateboarding. Skateboarding was another obsession of 2002. Another box of your grandmother's old junk? I hope you're taking that out to the trash. It's filthy. You can't throw out deceased grandmother's belongings, mom. How does she not know what her mom did in her past life? I have no idea. Maybe it's like Ghost Whisperer where like the grandmother had powers and Melinda had powers, but the mother, she did have powers, but she didn't want them. Stop fooling around. I know what I <laughs> Get a load of these Wall Street numbers. Oh. That's terrifying. Doggone things are dropping like flies. Oh. Must have been a DNA scrambler. Put him back. Whew. It looks like a Lunchable, that. Yeah, it does. With Lunchables, fun fuel, wraps and bagels, you're... Fueled up and ready to go. Oh, wow, pepperoni pizza. I'll say, that boy can carve some sweet lines on the asphalt. What are you, publicist? I think somebody's jealous. I'm not jealous, it's just... She's like, I can read your mind, I know you're jealous. Don't lie to me. That's why clairvoyant telepathy is a, is a great power. Yeah, you're right, that is the best power. But I did win the silver tier gold last year. Name's Jericho. Uh. Good for you. I feel good for you is such a double-edged thing. It depends on who sang it in the tone. They're just gonna think you're being, like, sarcastic. Yeah, it reminds me of, like, you know, in ContraPoints, it's like, that's very valid. <laughs> but if you got your eye on the gold, forget it. I don't know a whole bunch about the skating community, but every skateboarder I've met is just, like, super chill and non-competitive, though. Wendy Woman, my lucky board. That is a very interesting board. Whoa! Ouch! Oh no, not again! Not again? Again? How many display windows has he taken out? Not again? Ah! I swear, like, if ghosts are gonna be, like, sneaky, they need to be sneaky. Time to do some PR for the PIs. Slip this into his back pocket. I like that he used his telepathy to give him a, a business card. Phantom investigators, where your demon will be screaming. For mercy, that is. For mercy, that is. Where a demon will be screaming. For mercy. We've got a new client. You've got a new client. Rick already knows us by face. We can go to the park exactly as we are. I'll just pretend to be practicing for Saturday. I think it was like, oh, they, they're pretending not to know each other was like an early idea, and then they dropped it by like a certain time. They gave up, yeah. That makes sense, too. Like, she tried to keep it secret, but then she was like, ah, everybody sees us together. Secret got out. Oh, that would have hurt. He slid down on his knees. He had some knee pad, but I get what you're saying. His shins probably would have felt that. Maybe that's why skaters wore baggy clothes, so that way when they're sliding, they don't get the rub burn. Looks pretty normal to me. Where'd you buy it? I carved it out of some driftwood I found under the pier. He carved it. Out of driftwood he found under the pier. That's not gonna wreck my ride, is it? Whoa! Oh. Hmm. No conclusive reading, though. Pirate ghost. Sprites, ghost, demon, elemental. Whoa! There's something else here. Something bigger. Pirate god? They said, is it a god? 
I did. I was like, Pirate God? What else could it be if it's not one of the four things? I mean, it's based in lore, actual lore, so I don't think there is a Pirate God. <laughs> A floating pirate ghost. <laughs> That's grounds for a possible concussion. Has a glass eye. I wonder how many pirates actually had glass eyes, because a lot of the fictional ones seem to have them. Why do you think he pulled up anchor? Uh, embarrassed about the detachable body part thing? Well, don't be embarrassed about it. You think this is funny? I can't ride a haunted skateboard, Silversmith. You saw the critical moves I was making today? I need that board! So he can't skate at all without the special board. But Jericho oh, lost to him last year, so he must have some skill. The name is Jericho, and don't be such a baby. You don't hear that much either. Don't be such a baby. Getting any images? I hear voices. Have a nice walk, Pinky. So long, Captain. Oh, they mutinied the captain, and it's carved out of the plank. Okay. Get this. The pirate's name is Pinky. Pinky. Pinky? And what be so entertaining about that, you poxy little fish? Nothing. Pinky. Great name. Yeah, be nice to the potentially evil ghost pirate. Me ship. So named for the lovely mermaid you see picture there. Like the mermaids, do ya? Of course. Made her protector of me old ship. I thought mermaids were always trying to lure uh, sailors. Maybe by carving a mermaid into it, it stops them from doing that. After many a toy to come and gone, I finally found her with these strange wheels. Arr! A bridge of gold? The Golden Gate Bridge. Back then when pirates didn't know how to swim. All I want is to retrieve her and ride her back to the bottom of the sea. I've no wish to be a bother to ya. He's like, sorry to bother you guys. He's not very piratey. Aha, uh -huh. when is it that a, that a pirate always kept their word? Why am I the bad guy all of a sudden? Yeah, poor Jericho. Yeah, why is it that when Jericho gets something good to him, it's always a bad thing? Oh. He gets the red belt, he didn't technically get it. His competitor forfeits the skateboard competition, it's a bad thing. And can't we be happy for Jericho? He's already named Jericho. That's a very complicated name to make sound cool. But yeah, he's worked his whole life to make it sound cool. I guess Jericho is from the Bible, but it's also the name of that city that fell, so... <laughs> and Chris Jericho. Whoa! And Barnacle Bart! Hey guys, yeah, so we're gonna make barnacle puppets today. Get rid of these little sea urchins! Oh no. <gasps> no one covered Jericho? Everybody just ducked out of the way? Put him down! Certainly. Damn it, Demona. Let him go. I mean, is there even any good way of saying that? Drop him, put him down. G gently release him, but not in the middle of the air. Set him on the ground. We've been hornswoggled, me lads. That bridge has no more gold than a galley slave. The fact that the pirate beard is very obviously like a party store beard adds to the charm, I think. My grandmother's soul collector. You had one out there, Grandma. Soul collector. It's called a camera. Looks kind of like a camera. Literally a camera. How does it work? Point this sucker at a ghost, push this red button, and whoa! Photo finish for Pinky the Pirate. Soul sucked into a photo. Say cheese and die. Say cheese and die, they didn't even get their soul sucked into the photo. It was just like the photo would like cause something bad to happen. Look, there's Pinky. Him and his whole pinky ring. That was lame. Uh, he tried. Tonight, you guys sleep with the fishes. Whoa! Stupid fish! You know, I would say something bad to kick Demona while she's down, but she already slept on a fish, so... That's really bad luck. That's like the bottom of the barrel. Hey! Let go, you peg-leg privateer! It's a colloquial term for pirate. The pirate barnacle ghost just wanted to make sure it w he shouldn't be offended. Oh, I'm so smart. It's a colloquialism. <laughs> he was doing research last night. <laughs> Wait, how did that work if he's an incorporeal ghost? I don't know. Make no bones about it! I'll grind you into cannon fodder! They definitely took inspiration from Spongebob for the for the pirate voice. Yeah, sounds like, um, Chachi the Pirate. And now for a burial at sea. Jericho, that was my grandma's! Yeah, I'd be pissed too if something that was my grandma's got
into the ocean. Oh well, I guess it's safer down there. Ariel picks it up and is like, oh, what's this? All the demons come out. Rick's gonna be bummed we lost his skateboard. Oh yeah, now you act all compassionate. Talk hmm, compassionate. skateboard, so vintage big. camera. Someone will never find it down there, down there, down there. Take a cutlass, him the bears, and I'll see the color of his inside. Oh, oh, it resurrected the whole pirate ship. I can't look. How close to the surface was the ship? I was like, how would their frame rate drop if this was a cartoon? I guess claymation problems, but I don't know. Smile and say booty. So in the whole darkness of the ocean, he's able to find the camera. Well, at least they got the camera back. I would never want to go on a ship ever that's made of wood. Oh, that's creepy. I don't care for that. Simply because wood rot, dust, spider web, all that stuff. Splinters, no thank you. Who be singing that dulcet melody? La, 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 la. You wish upon a star. Makes no difference who you are. And then they just chase him. Have you guys seen Casey? Any of you ever breathe a word about this? We'll probably pass out from laughing. Pretty sure 20 years later in the revamp, Casey switches genders. Possibly. Yeah, Casey, you, you could be, you could be, um, gender fluid, Casey, it's okay. <laughs> if it were made today, that would probably be the thing. Lunchables, pepperoni pizza. It also reminds me of, like, that bumper from Disney Channel with the kid, like, skateboarding, and... I swear that existed, that isn't a false memory. If you're gonna compete, you'll need a board. I can't take- Look, you want the thing or not? Yeah, life lessons, winning isn't everything. <laughs> You won't be mad if I take the gold? It's not even real gold, it's like just a plastic thing that's shiny. But good for Jericho. Yeah, they should. Poor Jericho, he has bad luck. But, I like this episode, I like the monster. If, if we were- if I were to ever tier list the monsters in each episode, I feel like this one is pretty close to the top. I like the- the pirate ghost. Yeah, I was a little, like, caught off guard of the twist, where it's like, Oh, I just want my sh you know, this part returned to my ship. Oh, just kidding. I'm actually going to ransack and pillage this whole town. It's like, don't trust the pirates. It's like Jack Sparrow. He's like, you cheated. And he's like, pirate. But yeah, that one is, that was a fun one. Yeah. There have been okay of the... Yeah, having come almost to the end now, we've there really haven't been, like, bad episodes, you know? Like, around 7 out of 10 episodes, but most of them have been, like, 8 and above. Yeah, there have been, like, middle tier episodes. That finale, though, is 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's a good one. It was a setup for season two. That we still want, <laughs> Warner Brothers. 20 years later, we still want it. It's 20 years. It's been 20 years, and we still want it. <laughs> I mean, Warner Brothers kind of has a reputation these days for canceling all the good stuff, right? I think it was uh, Sony, because uh, Warner Brothers is a subsidiary of Sony. Um, they cut off the funding for this show, so that way they can't go market it to some other channel. That's harsh. I mean, where do you think it would have gone after Kids WB? I think it would have become more, like, story-driven. I think it would have been, the episodes would have gotten less freestanding. I mean, like, do you think, like, it would have been on um, Cartoon Network or um, Nickelodeon or... I could see Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon taking it. I think it's too, like, dark for Disney Channel with, the, like, the monsters. Well, no, they had Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I, it might happen, but was it? No, that was Cartoon Network. Never mind. I was like, which one? No, but they had, um, they've had a show, like, So Weird. They had So Weird. They did have So Weird, that's true. So they might have at this time. This was like a transitional period for Disney where they didn't really know exactly what they wanted their brand to be, so maybe. But like, yeah, I could definitely see like Cartoon Network taking it or Nickelodeon. It has very like Nickelodeon vibes to me. It does have pretty Nickelodeon vibes to it. But they probably would have gotten like, I don't know, Dan Schneider. Yeah, thank God that didn't happen. And Cartoon Network. Well, Cartoon Network wants things to either come from somewhere else or specifically be originals. I still say nowadays we could just put it on streaming. You know, streaming revival. Like they'd probably pick it up for a season two after 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> we start posting these videos and people are like, I do remember this. Everybody tweet Netflix. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Tweet the creator of the show. 
Tom. You did a great job. But yeah, we'll leave you guys here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around. I post nonsense all the time. My name is Avery. That's Daniel. We're YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye.